Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome. How are you today? Hello, good evening. Hey, good evening. How are you today? Fine, thank you. And you? Very good. How do you feel? How do you feel? Como se siente? It's fine, fine. Okay, very good. Very good. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Maria. Hello, Reina. Hello, Maritza. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. good evening. Hello, Marco. Hello, Maria Imelda, Evelyn. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Eh, ya terminamos la primera semana y la segunda semana. Eh, ahorita tenemos que estar ya empezando en la section 4. Así que vamos a proceder. Eh, ¿Quién me puede decir qué se acuerda de la clase anterior? What do you remember about the previous class? Vimos eh, people hate to do. Lo que volvíamos a hacer. That's right. Okay. That's right. Eh, we looked at a real life setting. Eh, talking about uh, simple past. Right. Um, esta no la hicimos, ¿verdad? Simple past. All right. No. Let's do it right now. Uh, the objective of this activity, by the end of this class, you will learn how to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Eh, al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán a formular oraciones positivas y negativas en pasado simple, usando verbos regulares, además, practicarán una conversación la cual ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema en un escenario de la vida real. So, vamos a practicar verbos regulares en el simple presente. Simple pasado, por favor. Perdón. Listen, please. get started by listening to a conversation title. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title, I didn't study. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Let's get started by practicing these statements in the past. Simple past statements. Regular verbs. I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watched television. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Didn't equals did not. Spelling. Watch. Watched. W-A-T-C-H-E-D. 
exercise, exercised, e x e r c i s e d, study, studied, s t u d i e d, stay, stayed, s t a y e d, shop, shopped. S H O P P E D. Let's analyze the examples on the chart now. I would like to get started with positive statements. Before I start, though, I would like to point out the verbs towards the right hand side of the chart. When talking about the past, and if we're using regular verbs, we will follow a quite simple rule. We need to change the verbs to the past tense. And we can do this by simply adding ed. For example, the verb watch. We will change it to the past by simply adding ed. On a different class, we'll learn how to pronounce these verbs and also the spelling rules. Let's go back to making positive statements in the past tense. In order to make positive statements in the past tense, we will follow this formula. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples now. I studied on Sunday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will put a complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one more example now. You watch television. First, we will add the subject you. Then we need to include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will add the complement television. Let's learn how to make negative statements in the past. In order to make negative statements in the past, we can follow this formula. Subject plus didn't plus verb in the present plus complement. Notice that in this case, we include an auxiliary verb, didn't. And because we have this auxiliary verb, we will no longer change the verb to the past tense. Let's analyze a couple of examples. I didn't study on Saturday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements. Didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense. Study. Finally, we will add the complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one last example. You didn't watch a movie. First, we will add the subject you. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements, didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, watch. Finally, we will add the complement, a movie. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past tense. I would like for you to use all the verbs on the right hand side of the chart and provide similar examples about yourself, family, friends, and co-workers. For example, I watch television on Monday. I didn't exercise. On Monday, my friend didn't stay home on Saturday. She shopped for clothes. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, now for this activity, what we are going to do 
is we're going to practice Oops. the conversation. I... Why? Well, I'm... in pairs. Repeat, please. Hi, Jennifer. Hi Jennifer. Hi Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend. Well, I had a busy weekend. Busy, busy. Busy, busy, busy. And I feel a little tired today. And I feel a little tired today. Today. Really? Why? Really? Why? 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 Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned. Then my roommate and I cleaned. Did laundry. Did laundry. And shot. And, and shot. shot. And then I visited my parents. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? So, so what did you, what did you do, do on Sunday? Sunday? I studied for the test all day. I studied for I the test all day. All day. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. no. Do we have a test today? Do no, we have, we have a, a test, test today? today? I didn't study. I, I didn't study. study. I just watched television all weekend. I just, I just watched, watched television all weekend. All weekend. Okay, so eh, esta conversación la vimos el viernes. Now we are going to practice the sentences. Eh, vamos a hacer oraciones My positivas y negativas en el pasado. On Saturday. Por ejemplo, I watched she television on Monday. Yo vi tele el lunes. I didn't exercise. I didn't exercise on Monday. No hice ejercicio el lunes. So me vas a dar tres positivas y tres negativas in the past tense. Do you understand? Yes. Y lo van a escribir en el discussion forum. Any questions? No question. All right, you have five minutes, five minutes in pairs. Okay. A ver. Esta es la 4, 2, 1, 4, 3. La 4T. La 4T. Ya le digo. La 4T. Este, si no hacemos oraciones ahorita. Sí, podemos hacer más. Ajá. Vale. Tres ejercicios de cada uno. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Cuáles podemos poner? Cuatro. Familia, o sea, Serían cinco oraciones. Perdón. Eh, lo vamos a hacer en español para luego pasarle al inglés. Yo pensaba así. Eh, fuimos de paseo con mi familia el domingo. 
perdón, este, la 4 cop. 4 eh, tres. Imelda. La 4 tres. La 4 tres. Imelda. Sí, dígame. Eh, dígame. La 4 cop, tengo. La 4 cuatro es la que estoy. No, no es esa. No, es la 4 tres. Pero no la. Ah, ya, 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 ya. Ya la. Uh -huh. Es la discusión, la que vamos a hacer ahorita. Eh, ¿Le parece si salimos ah, con mi familia a pasear el día domingo? ¿Sería entonces? ¿Le parece eso? Sí, está ¿Sería bien. my family? Sí. Sería, ay, ay. Ahorita vamos a ver. Mi familia y yo salimos a pasear el domingo, sería, ¿verdad? ¿O fuimos a la playa el domingo? Eh, no solo el fin de semana, ¿Sería? podría ser a la playa. Ajá, por eso, que sea a la playa. Está bien. Mi familia y yo salimos a la playa el domingo. Está bien. O salimos ¿Sí? con mi familia a la playa. Uh, mi familia y yo, pongamos. Ok. My family and I. Ajá, sería my family and, and I. Eh, sería fuimos, ¿verdad? Sí. A la playa. I went. Uh, ajá, I went to the beach on, on, on Sunday. On Sunday, ajá. Uh -huh. On Sunday, ajá. Número uno. Y esa misma la vamos a hacer negativa. Uh, podríamos poner. Ajá, ah, sí, también. Eh, ahí le podríamos poner. Eh, nosotros no fuimos a la playa, fuimos al parque el domingo. Algo así sería, ¿verdad? Sí. Nosotros no fuimos a la playa. Sería, eh, ajá. Nosotros no fuimos a la playa. Ajá. Pero así. Ajá, sería, ah, okay. nosotros no fuimos a la playa, fuimos al parque. Porque recuerde que nos decía ah. que que había visto televisión en la tarde y después decía yo no hice ejercicio el domingo ese es uno de los uh -huh. ejemplos sí entonces le podemos poner eh, eh, I didn't no sería they didn't we didn't we didn't go to ajá, the they didn't ¿Sí? ajá to the park algo así sería ¿Qué? To the park. To the beach. Solo una no fueron los cinco minutos. Otra. The park. Mi amiga se quedó en casa el fin de semana. Podría ser. Entonces sería my, my friend, my friend, my friend, uh -huh. Como mi, mi amiga no se quedó en casa, se quedó, no se quedó, se quedó, se quedó, ah. sería my friend, stay. El fin de semana. Sí. Sería y esa misma podemos friend. hacer la negativa. Ajá. Sería my friend stay. Hey. ¿Le vamos a agregar ED al final? Sí. No. No. Stay, sí. Ah, sí, 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 porque es negativo, Ajá. sí. Ajá. Stay at for the weekend. Después le podemos poner que no se quedó, sino que fue al cine. Sí, también. Uh -huh. Entonces sería eh, she, she did. ¿Cómo 
Uh, sería my friend. No, sería ella. Sería ella. Ella sería entonces. Sería ella. Sí, y... y no se quedó. Es que dice, eh, mi amiga se quedó en casa el fin de semana. Y aquí como la vamos a, a poner a, a, en negativo al pasado, sería ella, sería she didn't, eh, que fue al cine. Ella no se quedó en casa si no fue al cine. Went to the movies. Sería entonces. Sería, she didn't. She didn't. Went to the movie. Didn't. Mm -hmm. no, como, como eso no la, no la entiendo bien. O sea, eh, por eso que le tenemos que poner el, el did eh, con NT, did. abreviado, ¿verdad? Did it. Ah, she didn't. Ajá. Went didn't? to the movie. Ah, sí, Juan. Ajá, porque por eso se. Ah, ya, ya, ya. Sí. Y dicen went to the movie. Uh -huh. Muy bien. Seis dijo, ¿verdad? No, tres. Tres positivos y tres negativos. Sí. Ajá. Pero si ponemos si te encuentro de movie, sería ella no fue al cine. Sí, solo eso sería. Va. Este, ¿otra? Eh, mm. Pero no asistí a clases el, el viernes. También. Ajá. Yo no asistí a clases al viernes. Sí. ¿Así sería? Sí. Okay. Oh, ¿Cómo le dije? Yo no asistí. No, tendría que ser. Es que solo es de lunes a jueves. Yo asistí. Yo asistí, sería, ¿verdad? Yo asistí o yo no asistí. Yo asistí, porque después lo haríamos en, en, en negativo. Uh -huh. Yo asistí a clases. El viernes. Okay. Me engañó. Sería, <risa> I attended class on Friday. I attended class on Friday. ¿Sería? Sí. sí. I attended. I attended. On Friday. Eh, sería eh, el negativo. Sería I didn't. I didn't. ¿Qué le ponemos? Sí. I sería, didn't. I didn't. No no. I need the homework. De hacer es. I do homework. Uh -huh. yes. mm. ¿Sí? Yo no hice la tarea. Sí. Sí. Sería, I didn't, I did not do the homework. The homework. I did, I didn't. Ajá, uh -huh. I didn't do the homework. Very nice. Uh -huh. nice. Se supone que estas son las que vamos a compartir en la discusión del, del, de la plataforma. Sí. Sí. Pero igual, o sea, yo ya, o sea, ya pasé por ahí. Yo voy casi llegando al final. Pero igual es bueno seguir practicando. Eh, ¿Hacemos otro o nos quedamos solamente con esas seis? Tres y tres. Mm, esas tres, está bien. 
deberíamos de practicar el spilling. Pongámoslo entonces. ¿Logran ver el spilling? No, no se mira. Um, es que yo este, estoy en el, en el... Quiero ver. ¿En el teléfono? No. Si no, si eh. no voy a, les voy a decir las palabras y luego lo practicamos. Las la podemos escribir. Está watch y está watcher. Con E al final. Watch, watcher. Ajá. Watch, watcher. Sería W, A, T, C, C. W, A, T, W, W. W. No, W. 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 Pues solo, ajá, W. No le ponga el U, sino que el W, como que solo ponga B, L, I, W. W. Ajá. A, T, C, H. H. Ajá. Y el watch sería W, A, T, C, H, I, D. H, I, D. Ajá. El otro sería exercise. I, I, R, I, R, I, I, R, S. A, I. Me enredo la lengua. Exercise. Ahí ya lleva el idea al final. Ah, thank you. All right, let me have one volunteer, one volunteer, one volunteer, one volunteer. Un voluntario que quiera eh, decir sus oraciones. I am teacher. Okay, I am. I am yo. Hello, Maria. <laughs> eh, nosotros hicimos esta que dice, my family and I went to the beach on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Y en la negativa, they didn't go to, to the park. Mm -hmm. ¿Está bien eso, sí? Yes, that is perfect. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Another volunteer. Another volunteer. I am teacher. All right. Um, guys, ah. cuando, cuando le dicen another volunteer, no diga I am, porque I am quiere decir yo soy. Right, so usted lo que va a decir es mi reina, mi María. B. No, mi, mi. Ah, ok, mi, mi, mi. Mi de yo. Mi, 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 mi. Sí, sí. Mi de yo. Mi, Elena, o lo que sea, ¿verdad? Pero no va a decir mi. Reina, entonces. Ok, mi reina. mi reina, mi reina. Dale, mi reina. I watched reina. the movie. I didn't watch television. I stand at the Oh, ok. I watched a the movie. movie. A I, movie. A movie. I didn't watch television. Ok. Sí. Thank you. Ok, eh, si no ha terminado, guys, eh, está bien, le queda de tareas. Eh, y, pero si ya terminó, excelente. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, okay. teacher. Now, let's go ahead and move forward. Here, we're looking at knowledge check. Instructions. Change the verbs in parentheses to the past to complete the story. You don't need to type a period. It is already placed. No tienes que poner un punto final porque ya está. Mm -hmm. So, number one. On Friday night, I... Mm, for a phone call. Y el verbo es wait. ¿Cuál es el pasado de wait? Wait. What? Waited. Waited. Wait. Waited. Waited. Okay. So you're going to do this activity. Tiene cinco minutos. And then we check. And let's go. 
in pairs. Eh, Maritza, eh, usted iba a estar con Katy y con Waldir. Este ahí va porque están utilizando, ahí se utiliza el, el auxiliar. Entonces, en la segunda, but my girlfriend, but my girlfriend didn't call. Porque está diciendo no, ¿verdad? Así es. Se mantiene el call. Sería tipo. Se mantiene y le agrega el título. I just stayed home and watched con F. On Saturday, I visit my friend Frank. Con Ede también. We talk and listen to music. También solo de agregarle ID. In the evening, they invite some friends over and Donde dice not work very hard on Sunday. Ah, oh, ok, ok. Sí, ya va a terminar. Ajá. Entonces, ahí he colocado didn't work. Es correcto, sí. Did not work. Uh -huh. um, I just work him. Ahí sería shopping, ¿verdad? Shop. Shop. Sí. Qué milagro, todo me salió bien. Es complicado esto de los tiempos en inglés. Sí, ah, la verdad a mí me cuesta, me cuesta mucho el inglés. Pero este... Creo que el módulo anterior como que fue más, lo sentí un poquito más difícil. Okay. Bueno, digo porque este, este ejercicio que acabamos de hacer, está, lo sentí bastante, lo sentí bastante fácil. Oh. Los que me cuestan a mí más son esos donde tengo que completar oraciones, este... O sea, eh, ver qué es lo que dice y qué es lo que yo debo contestar. Ahí me cuesta bastante. 
Ah, cuando lo ponen a uno, a, ¿cómo se llama? Como a razonar. Ajá, sí, como preguntas, este, como preguntas de complementar, donde uno tiene que escribir este, más de una palabra. Ajá. No, y fíjense que por lo menos ahorita estamos con los, con los tiempos fáciles. Ya ahorita de, de, creo que en el otro módulo va a ser, va un tiempo que se llama este, presente perfecto. Ah, es más difícil ese. Es, es bastante complicado porque se ocupan bastante verbos participios. Mm, usted ya había estudiado antes, compañero. Fíjese que eh, no es que he estudiado. La cuestión es de que desde pequeño siempre estuve así como de, viendo cosas en inglés y todo. Entonces ya ahorita como que me llamó más la atención. Y he investigado por mi cuenta algunas cosas. Ahí fue donde me di cuenta de ese tanto tiempo que es bien complicado. Sí, 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 a mí me cuesta bastante, la verdad. Me cuesta, se me traba la lengua, <ríe> se me traba la lengua para hablarlo también. He dicho a las personas con las que he así participado ahorita, eh, ¿Sí? que siempre hay que tratar de articular de una manera exagerada. Como de, Ajá. de pronunciarlo así bien, que se sienta el acento. Porque Ajá. así, poco a poco se hace el hábito. Ya después ya uno lo pronuncia, cabal lo que tiene que decir. Uh -huh. Bueno, <ríe> quizás eso es lo que, lo que quizás me cuesta a mí. Pero por lo menos ya me di cuenta que no soy la única que, nos cuesta, que me cuesta así como, como pronunciar. Y algunas cositas. Pero sí he visto compañeros que están bien avanzados aquí. Los veo bastante. Ajá, no, bueno, pero... usted es uno de ellos. Así me han dicho, pero igual me falta mucho, bastante para aprender. Pero, o sea, sí es complicado al principio. Siempre es complicado. Más que todo porque como uno está acostumbrado a hablar prácticamente español. Ya cuando le sí. vienen a decir, ah, esta palabra en este idioma significa eso. Ya vamos a terminar la plataforma, niña. Ya sí. casi. Ya casi. Ya vamos llegando al 5. No falta. Ya mandaron, la, ya, ya mandaron la, la hoja de inscripción. Hello guys, uh, is everybody finished or do you need more time? Ya terminamos o necesitamos más tiempo? I'm finished. Okay, let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, it says on Friday night, I waited for a phone call. The next one. Didn't, 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 okay. didn't, okay, but my girlfriend didn't, didn't, call. didn't call. Excellent. Didn't call. The next one, I just stayed home and watch TV. Watch TV. On Saturday, I Visited. 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 My friend Frank. We talked and listened. 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 Listened to music. In the evening, he invited some friends over and we cooked. Cooked. 
a great meal. Okay. I. Did not. Work. Didn't. Didn't. Work. Didn't. Work. Very hard on Sunday. I. Did study. Didn't study. 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 At all. I just walked to the mall and shopped. Perfect. Okay. So repeat. Waited. Waited. Didn't call. Didn't call. Watched. Watched. Visited. 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 Listened. Did it work? Did it work? Did it study? Shopped. Shopped. Now, for the next one, by the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when using regular simple past verbs. Al final de esta clase, Aprenderán a sonar natural cuando usen verbos regulares en pasado simple. Listen, please. Listen, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to sound natural when pronouncing simple past verbs. The ED ending of simple past verbs has three different sounds. Let's listen and practice. These verbs end in t, worked, watched. These verbs end in d, cleaned, stayed. These verbs end in in, invited, visited. In order to understand, when we'll have a t, D or it sound, we need to understand a couple of concepts. Voiceless and voice sound. So let me explain that. I would like for you to pay attention to my throat and my fingers. I'm going to put two fingers on my throat, particularly on my Adam's apple. I would like for you to do the same as well. Now, I would like for you to repeat after me. Watch, turn, watch, turn, turn, watch, watch. We pronounce the verb watch. There is no vibration on our Adam's apple. This is called a voiceless. However, whenever we pronounce the verb turn, there is lots of vibration on Adam's apple. This is called a voice. Now let's try to understand the it sound. We will pronounce it whenever we have verbs that have a T and a V sound. For example, visit has a T sound. So we pronounce the past as visited. Blend has the sound. So we pronounce the past as blended. Let me show you more examples of words that are voiceless and voice to help you understand this topic better. Another method to use is following this particular sounds. These sounds are voiceless. P, K, S, H, C, H, G, H, T, H, S, S, C, X. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Helped. Look, watched, 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 laughed, 
three, ten, ten, six. The following consonants have always the sound. L, N, R, G, G, S, W, Y, Z. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Called, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to pronounce all of these verbs. And then record yourself using the website, bokaroo.com. After you finish this activity, share the link of the recording on our discussion forums. All right. Any questions? Okay. So you're going to go to Vokaru and you're going to record yourself pronouncing the words offer wanted needed helped looked washed wanted needed helped looked washed then you're going to save it copy it and then come here to the discussion forum and you're going to paste it. And this is simple simple past regular verbs and then save it. Any questions? All right, please do it at this moment in pairs. Uh, hi guys, is everybody finished or do you need more time? Is everybody finished or do you need more time? More time. Is every, you need yes. more time? Okay. Uh, I'm going to give yes. you Okay. Hey, I'm going to give you more time. Give me just one second, please. One second, please. Yes. Wait a minute. Help. Look. Wash. Wash. Leg. Bring.
Good evening, Katy Corea. María Emelda, y nos vamos otra vez. Hey, Reina no entró. Eh, usted estaba... Sí, teacher, yo entro, pero no sé qué pasa. Pero igual ya lo hice. Ah, ok. Ah, pues puede continuar en la próxima actividad. Ok. Eh, aquí está Waldir. Hello. Hello, Waldir. La, la parte final, ¿verdad que no? Por ejemplo, en Help, en Help, se, no se escucha casi al final, ¿verdad? A diferencia de, vamos a ver. Bueno, no sé. Lo voy a decir y usted me, me dice. Help. Look at. Watch it. Watch it. Launch it. Breach it. <ríe> no sé si ahí se dice. Así se dice ese. Vaya. Ahorita en estos, eh, el sonido final tiene que ser con T. La E de no la va a pronunciar. Por ejemplo, el, el help. No es help it, es help it. Help, help, help. Ajá, Así. Solo tiene que, que, después de la P, tiene que sonar la T. El E de no tiene por qué pronunciarlo. No, no es help it, es help. Help, help, help. Ay, me cuesta decir la T al final. Vamos a ver. Así va a ser help. con todos. Dígalo de nuevo, compañero. Perdone que no... Sí, no hay problema. Help. Help. ¿Así? Ajá, Help. Tiene, que, tiene que, por lo menos ahorita, hacer bastante fuerte el último sonido, la T. Help. Ok. <ríe> ok. Ahí se me perdió la foto. Help. Hello, teacher. Hey, what's going on? Uh, excuse me. Uh... Yes. La pronunciación de Amazel eh, um, está en la... Sí. Amazel. Bien. Amazed. 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 Con D. Ajá. Amazed. 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 Thank you, teacher. Yes, amazed. Okay, teacher, amazed. Amazed. Oh, amazed. Uh, the question, teacher. Eh, ¿Por qué tienen las letras arriba? Eh, T, E, D y D. Eh, porque me. en la primera se pronuncia I, D. Por ejemplo, wanted. So, la pronunciación ah. es I, D. Wanted. Uh -huh. En la otra, la pronunciación okay. es D. Learned. Uh -huh. Y en la última es con T uh -huh. con T no, con D, perdón Amazed Ajá, es que no la Amazed ah, porque dice Helped 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 Help. Help. Con T Looked Look Look Ah, al final suena como T Correct Watched 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 Laughed Laughed Brainhead Breathe Teacher, damaged. 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 On the. Damaged. On the. Damaged. 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 Pero siempre me da problemas. Nunca he podido grabar nada de lo que me pide. All right. Now we're going to go ahead. Si no ha terminado, le va a quedar de tarea. 
Bueno. So we're going to go ahead and look at the following one, which is 4.7. By the end of this class, you will learn how to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using irregular verbs. Irregular. En esta clase, ustedes aprenderán a formar oraciones positivas y negativas. En pasado, simple, usando verbos irregulares. Hi everyone, in this class you learn to form positive and negative statements using irregular Let's get started by listening and practicing these statements in the past using irregular verbs. Simple past statements, irregular verbs. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10 o'clock. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. In English, we have two types of verbs. In our last class, we learned how to use regular verbs and learned the simple rule of adding ed to change those verbs to the past tense. We also have irregular verbs, which are more complicated because there really isn't a particular rule to follow. You will need to learn them and memorize them. To form positive statements in the past using irregular verbs, we will follow the same formula as with forming positive statements with regular verbs. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. On these charts, you can see a few examples. If you notice the positive statements have the verbs in the past tense. And the negative statements have the verbs in the present tense. For example, the past of the verb do is did, get up, the past is got up, go, the past is went, meet, the past is met, come, the past is came, have, the past is had. Let's analyze the first example. I did my homework. First, we add the subject I, then we include the verb in the past tense, did. Finally, we add a complement, homework. To form negative statements, we will follow this formula. Subject plus didn't, the auxiliary didn't, plus verb in the present, plus complement. I didn't do laundry. First, we add the subject I. Then we add the auxiliary verb to form negative statements in the past. Didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present. Do. Finally, we add the complement. Laundry. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to make positive and negative statements using these irregular verbs. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, so this is going to be your homework. You are going to give me at least five sentences here in the discussion forums using those verbs. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you.